hello lovelies you are welcome back to my youtube channel today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful ashoki headband fascinating if you're new to this channel thank you so much for clicking in please kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and also do well to click on the bell icon which enables you to get notified whenever we upload new tutorials to all my old subscribers thank you so much for the support now for the materials needed they are all listed here kindly go through them and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section for this tutorial we are going to be working on an ashoki fascinator design with big bow at the back so you'll be needing up to two lines of ashoki and then this design has the band the markers are the band two big bows at the back and then the fascinator with the Alice hairband at the middle. Now for the um, fascinator, ordinarily it's supposed to be a molded fascinator or you can mold from scratch to make that fascinator base. But then I'll be making use of an already made fascinator base. So now let me first start with the Ashoke fabric. Let me list out the fabrics and their measurements before we dive into the before we dive into the fascinator um design on the fascinator base now right here i have four pieces of ashoki and these four pieces i'm going to be using it to get that bow design now what i did was to get one strand and divide it into four pieces so what i have here is 19 inches for the length four pieces this is what we are going to use to get the bow design at the back so this is what my one strand or one hour gave me that is it for this this is for the bow at the back now for the base that is the band rather which is going to have our marco this is one piece and this is 25 inches one piece 25 inches then coming to the fascinator design like i said this is an already made fascinator so we are going to be covering this up and to get the the fabric that is measurement for the fabric what i did was to just you know place my measuring tape this is 8.5 let's say one inch here one inch here okay that is about 11 inches so i cut out two pieces because one piece will not be enough so I cut out 11 inches twice. So when we join these two pieces together, we use it to cover the base. That is it for this base. Then, for the Alice hairband, which we are going to be wrapping, I have this piece of ashoki here. This is 15 inches for the length. So I'll cut it across the middle. I'll fold into two and then cut across the middle. And I'll use this to wrap my ashoki. From the right to the middle part, and then from the left to the middle part. So that is it for that. Then, to give this fascinator base a standing effect, I have my heart wire. What I did was to mark my base, how I got the measurement for the heart wire. I marked my base like this, and then I got my measuring tape, and I took my tape around this base okay and this is giving me about 20 inches between 20 21 inches so that's how i got it so for my hat why i got out 22 inches because the um because i need an extra inch for the overlapping ends to form a round shape my hat wire, I cut out 22 inches. Now, for the bow design, remember that there are four pieces of fabric. So, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to place these two together and join it as one. I'll place these two together and join it as one. Two to one, two to one. After which, after I've joined them and I have just two pieces. I'll place these two on each other and sew it round. 
that is it for the table for the fascinator base i have these two pieces and i'm going to join them together again just place one on each other one on each other and stitch it down to join it now for the fascinate of the band i have this marco marco is going to give us that hard shape the measurement for my marco is 25 inches for the length and the width is 2 inches right here i have my alice hairband and i have my fabric so i want them to to start with the fascinator base first so this is about one inch for the width and the length is about 14 15 inches so this is 14 inches now up to 14.5 so that is it then i'll get my ashu key and then fold it into two equal halves that will give me about three inches for the width and then i'll cut it through Now that that has been done, I'm going to get my comb, I'll apply comb at the head and then wrap from this left side down to the middle point with the first fabric, second fabric comes from the right down to the middle point and that is it. So this is it. I have my Alice band ready. So I'll set this aside. So this is my hot wire. I'll get both ends together and then tape it with my tape. So this is my hot wire and this is my this. I'm going to get my needle and thread and I'm going to start tightening it through. The essence of placing the wire at the tip of the base is so that it can retain its shape and to be stiff. So this is my um, fascinator piece, the, the, um, 22 inches, the cap was able to take the entire 22 inches, I've stitched it round and with this now it will retain its shape to be very st strong, although it won't be like a modded fascinator piece but at least it will be able to withstand some degree of pressure, especially the edges. So that is it for this. The next thing I will do is to get my already sewn fabric which is this so i have my already sewn fabric here 
and then I'll place on it this way. Place on it, then apply my gum around the edge, and then glue this in. So you can try to trim it off a bit before gluing it in. Now, if you feel like the base that is your ashoke is transparent, you can cover this up with your piece of fabric, matching color of fabric will be preferable. And then once you have covered it up with your fabric, you place your ashoke on it. Okay, so that's another way to go about it. Now, after gluing this down around this, I have this trimming. I also have this trimming. Any of them can serve. We'll now use this to cover around the edge. So that's what we're going to be doing next. So right here, I'm just trying to measure the edges of my fabric on my base and then cut off or trim off the excess. Thereafter, I'm going to get my gum and we're going to be gluing down our fabric to the base. Please, this is how you do it. You do two, posits, two opposite ends first, then get the next two opposite ends and glue down before going around the edges. So it's just like doing north, south, then east, west. After doing those four ends, before you start doing the other edges. And if you are not comfortable with using your candle gum and glue gun, you can use your UAG gum or your B6000. But while working, please ensure that your work is very neat. Take your time to add your gum and pull in the edges pull it in from that especially that part you have that hard wire pull it in so that that edge can be smooth well defined and very fine and will not be seeing excess fabric coming out at the edge that's an iso to your work then as you are working if need be you can trim off the excess so after after wrapping it up, this is the fine side, this is the wrong side. I'm going to trim off these edges and then use my accessory to glue the edge. At this junction, this is the front view and this is the inner view of my fascinator base i had to use two lines to firmly secure the edge and in place of your candle gum and glue that you can use your uju gum or your b6000 so this is it i'll set this aside i have my macro here remember it's 25 by 2 inches So this is my fabric and I'm done sewing. I turned it inside out. So remember our ashoki is about 6 inches for the width. Okay, let's say 6.5 inches for the width. What I did was that when I folded it into sew, I started sewing at that 2.7 inches allowance. So this is 2.5, the second line on three that's where i had my sewing stitch down to the end so as soon as i'm done sewing i turned it inside out that's why i have this i'm going to now gradually carefully pass my macro inside this fabric so i'll go off camera to do this and as soon as i'm done i'll get back for us to continue so this is it after passing it inside this is it. Then, another way to do this is to get your fabric, place it like this, like the way we we'll do for our marker, and then stitch this down from one end to the other end. After stitching it, you pull the sewn part down to the middle. This is it. I used 27 inches for the length of the ashoke. So I'm now going to gradually pull this inwards to the other side like this so this is another way to do it i can apply go to glue this down together so this is our band this is it so i've laid this part down so this is the fine side the next thing i'll do is to get both edges of my macro 
and we're going to be stitching it down for then i reduce it a bit to 24 inches so that it can like it to be it to cover this um fascinator base very well but then so now that that is done i'm going to tie this together you can apply gum to first of all coat both edges together and just go ahead to do it to sew it remember i decreased it down to 24 inches but it varies depending on your head on the head size that you're working on this is it after tacking it down and i'm going to go ahead to pull and adjust my fabric as soon as i'm done as soon as I'm done adjusting the ends, this is it. Then I have this piece of fabric, it's about 4 inches for the width. Though the edges are already free, now I'm just folding both edges down to the middle point. And then I'm going to place it at this part here, this end, so as to cover it up. So this is it, you can stitch. At this point, you can glue it down, whichever one you prefer. So this will be the inner part. So now this is it. We have these two ready. So this is going to come first. To join both of them together, all we have to do is to apply them at the edge of the carpet and glue it down together. But I want to make it detachable so that they can be worn separately. Now I have I have the first fabric for my bow here. I have the second fabric for my bow here. I'll place these two on each other, take it down to my sewing machine and stitch around it while leaving a little bit of allowance at one edge for turning my fabric inside out. Now, I want to recommend that as soon as you get both pieces of fabric together, just before you join all together, get a piece of wadding. It could be the light wadding or the light um, padded. The measurement for the length should be either 17, 18 inches why the width should be around 11 10.5 inches so let's say 17.5 inches by 10.5 inches for your wording or your padded and then place on one side of the fabric and sew it together with the other ashoki um fabric join all together before you turn your fabric inside out the essence of this is to give the bow design a little bit of weight so that it can stand firmly on its own because i made mine without adding any form of interfacing like your wording or your padded to it and i did not like how the texture was though the ashoke fabric i was working with was hard it was strong but i had to do a lot of tacking so that the bow design could stand in shape but then if they were uh, if i had my wording or my padded in it it would have been much more easier and that firmness would have been there from the beginning without having me to do so much tacking. But then you can also decide not to do that and to just work with your ashe, okay? Right here, I have my fabric after sewing. I've sewn off her edges, so I'll turn it from this point here and I'll cover, that is, I'll stitch that open end and then get back now that that has been done i'm um, now if you look carefully you see that i mat the middle of my fabric so that it will enable me to locate the midpoint and i can tack after making my plate for my bone i can tack at the midpoint so i'll just start making my plates for my bow this way Now I'll get my into line thread 
to tag this through at the middle. That is done. I will get my band. Please, if you are not okay with the inner parts, you can use a piece of fabric or a piece of ashoki, whatever it is, Marco. Sorry, your wooden covered with fabric to glue this end, this inner part. So I'll get this. I need to place at the back like this, and I'll use my needle and thread to tag them both together. So this is my work, I'm done tacking the glue down to the back. Now I have a piece of fabric here, this is about 3.5 inches for the width, so I folded it in because of the frame edge. If you feel like this part is not neat enough, you can go ahead to cut 3.5 inches by the width of the ashoki and then tack or glue this down to the back. But then. I feel like we don't really need it again because we can just get an accessory and glue this down. So whichever one you prefer, it's very fun. I also get this and at the middle like this, I'm going to glue this. So if you now want to join this to this as well. I will just place it down like this. I will now apply gum. I will apply gum. Then gradually bring this upwards. Then set it in place very well. Just allow this midpoint to align with the pack and the front. Okay? Everything should be in alignment. Yeah. Other accessories for embellishment include this this and this all i have to do is to apply gum at the back which i have here and then start gluing it to wherever i want to glue it to so i will put that off camera but one other important thing we are yet to do is to attach our eyes band down to our base so i'll get my dummy head I will place my headband on it this way. I will place my cap on it like this. And then I will take this off. I'm going to get my candle gum and my glue gum. And I'm going to apply gum and glue this down together. So apply enough gum and when it's properly glued you can now get a piece of felt a piece of fabric to cover this part up So I'm going to be making some changes. I did like this and this enabled me to get the midpoint of my cap, which I will assume to be this point here. Then from here, I'll measure out 3.5 inches from the midpoint to the right, 3.5 from the midpoint to the left, 3.5 inches. So from here to here, I should have about 7 inches. Now, before that 3.5 inches, I'm going to glue this down before the 3.5 inches. And repeat the same thing for this side. So this is it. My embellishment is in progress. 
Remember that if you want to join boots together, you can as well use your glue to do that. But I want a situation whereby this band with the book can be worn alone, and also where this fascinator base can be worn alone. That is what I want. That is why I want to be joining both of them together. So I'll finish up with the embellishment and then show us the final outfit. Now I want to emphasize that I used a very thick marker. That is why this thing is thick like this and is bulky like this. I used a very very thick marker for this one. After embellishment, this is the final outlook. So you are free to use any accessories of your choice. Thank you so much for viewing. Please like, share and leave comments in the comment section. Kindly also follow us on Facebook and on Instagram. We are there as Jenny Concept. Until our next tutorial. Bye.